Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use webhooks with a Formwise tool and how to send that data over to a custom webhook URL. So webhooks are basically addresses where we can send data to and it's going to catch it. Um, again, if you're familiar with Go High Level, we know that workflows have an inbound webhook trigger. In this specific example, I'm actually going to use Zapier because Zapier does have a uh, zap called webhooks by Zapier. So before we go into that, um, I'm going to show you an example tool I have here. It's called Funnel Project Onboarding Form that is going to make copy for my funnel. So very simple tool. It's going to make the landing page copy, then the opt-in copy, and then the thank you page copy. Um, so if you notice here, I have my webhook on, it, but it's empty. So this is where I'm going to paste my webhook URL. So I'm going to go ahead and jump it over to Zapier. I'm going to start my zap, and I'm going to start it with my webhooks by Zapier um, trigger. So we're going to make sure the event is catch hook. You're going to have a few options. You're going to want to uh, want the regular one, catch hook. We're going to continue. We're going to skip this child's key. And we're going to go ahead and copy that URL. And then we're going to jump back into the builder. And we're going to paste that webhook URL right here. And we're going to publish. And then we're, we're going to go ahead and run a quick test in our tool. So you're going to open the previewer. And you're going to just use your tool like a regular end user. You're going to wait for all the responses to come uh, come back, all the AI outputs. Now, uh, do keep in mind, uh, you know, if you're prompt chaining, you're going to make sure you wait till all of them um, have returned. If you're just doing a single tool, I mean, I mean a single prompt, it's just going to, uh, you'll be able to pull in a record inside of Zapier as soon as it's done. Um, so in this case, I, I already had, uh, I already uh, went ahead and tested it before starting this tutorial. So I have an example here. And again, like I said, it's going to create all the copy, like the, again, the landing page, the opt-in and the thank you page. So I have all my copy in here. And the cool thing is if I am prompt chaining, it's going to do it by step. So I got step one and then I got my step two and I got step three. It's also going to pull in uh, like the form data, what the end user is inputting. So, you know, I got the name of the business, what, uh, what they do, the offer and a website URL. So I am going to go ahead and now map this data. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue with record. And then this is where I choose my application on what exactly I want to do with that data. So, so let's say we wanted to send this to a Google doc. We can absolutely do that. We can do Google. And there's a Google Doc. And of course, you're going to want to uh, choose the action. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and just create a brand new document. If you do have a templated one, like I've seen some people build like business plan tools where the end user fills out the form and then it uh, populates all of the AI outputs in this beautiful Google Doc template for a business plan or a business strategy. Um, you can do that again, especially if you're not showing the uh, result to the end user. So remember inside of Formwise, you're also able to hide the result from the end user and just treat it like a regular form or actually redirect them to the next page. So let's go back into Zapier and we're going to do a create document from text because I don't have a cool template. So we're going to do that and we're going to go ahead and choose an account. So I'm going to connect my Google. Awesome. I got my Google account connected, so I'm going to continue. And again, I can either name the document here, whatever I want, or I can use actually one of the uh, fields that are inside of the webhook data that has been caught. In this case, I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to name the, the document website project onboarding form. Um, uh, and the document content, this is where I can go ahead and do that. I can do landing page, uh, copy. And I can map the first step and then I can do opt-in page, copy. And again, these are all different prompt chain steps. And I'm going to do thank you page copy. Then I can do other things like map in, like again, the form data, the stuff they inputted. In this case, I'm just going to keep it simple. Um, and then I can choose to save this to a specific folder. I don't really have a lot of folders in our Google Docs, so I'm just going to save it to the root, the, uh, into the top folder. And then I can go ahead and do a quick test. So let me open up my Google uh, Drive. 
Okay, so I got it here, so it should save it right here. So let's go back into the Zap. Let's test this step, and it should create a document with all the information here. If I go back over here, and there it is. Boom. So now I basically have all the data um, that my tool created. Again, you can format this. Uh, Zapier has a formatter where you could add that step in between, uh, basically in between the catch hook and the first step in your automation. Uh, I believe it's actually called formatter. So there is a formatter. So you can, again, um, you know, have it, have it, um, you know, clean, clean the text, remove any HTML from it. If, if there is any, for some reason, um, capitalize things. So you are able to do that. I think Xavier actually has an AI thing where, where you can actually describe what you want it to transform into. Um, but again, uh, that, that is there for you in this scenario. We don't need that. Um, but yeah, uh, and then, you know, of course, after you've created the document, now you're able to do other things like let's save that document to Dropbox. Let's uh, email that document to the client. Let's send it to Slack. Whatever you need it to do, you're able to do that. So um, again, uh, I'm actually going to show one more example here. Like let's just say you wanted to send this to uh, something like monday.com. We can then, again, also go ahead and let's create an item. And I'm going to go ahead and sign into my Monday. Okay, so I got it connected. So now I can go ahead and choose a board where I want this to go. I'm just going to add it to a random board here. I'm going to name the item. Uh, again, I can go ahead and grab the document I just made. Or again, I can just grab that raw data from Zapier as well. So uh, let's just go ahead and find the client name. Let's look at get the client. And... Again, I can assign it to someone. We're going to assign it to myself. The details, again, go ahead and map that data in there. Look, there's a formatter as well if you wanted to do that. Let me go ahead and put all that data in there. I can continue, and I can test the step. Okay. And then, um, again, this is going to happen whenever they use your tool and they hit submit, so this is pretty cool. Um, I can go back into Monday, and I should have it in here. All right, and there it is, Maple Coffee Company, uh, which is the data it mapped. And yeah, it mapped it in the details. I mapped it in the wrong place. But again, you could map this as an update or whatever. Again, this is just an example to pushing it to monday.com. Um, if you jump back over into the Zap, let's see if I can do another example here. Again, if you wanted to send it to like Kajabi first, we're also able to do that again. Uh, create a form submission. So this is actually good if you are mirroring a form on Kajabi. You can absolutely uh, map the fields that they just filled out on a specific form I tool. And I'm assuming in Kajabi there's automations that can then trigger that form submission. So again, should be super easy. Uh, I don't have a Kajabi account, but you should be able to map it out just like this in this example. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Again, webhooks are very powerful. Most of the times people are, are go high level users are saying it straight into a workflow. Uh, very straightforward. In this case, this is how you can send it um, to either Google Docs, Monday, Kajabi, or really there's a plethora of, of applications in here. You can even customize it with the email by Zapier if you want to email those results to your end user. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Again, been wanting to make this video for a while. So I, uh, uh, let us know if you have any, any specific questions.